The auto arrangements element has tools to duplicate and lay out objects quickly and accurately. With an object selected, it can be mirrored horizontally or vertically or both. When the objects are in position, press enter or click to apply. When objects overlap, they can be welded together. Here's an example using half a border from a crest. I'll reflect horizontally and lay one on top of the other and click. Now I have a message if I want to merge the overlapped objects, which I do, which results in a single object that's perfectly symmetrical. The Array and Reflect tools work in a similar way. However, now you can set the number of repeats. The Array is great for laying out badges. Here I'm going to change the rows from 2 to 3 and the columns to 5. And arrange the badges to suit before clicking to apply. If we check out the colour object list, you'll see the colours have been resequenced for the most efficient sew out. There are two more tools called Wreath and Kaleidoscope. They carry out a similar operation but on a rotating axis. You can select the number of repeats, I'll change it to 8, and as I move around the screen the objects rotate. Click to apply. I'm going to do that again but this time choose Kaleidoscope. When I click to apply, they're reflected. Both of these tools make light work of repeating borders and patterns, and also commonly used objects like points on a star. Let me show you how. To begin I'll select the column tool and click to form the point of the star. Now I need to reflect this five times because there's five points on a star. I'll put everything into position and click to generate the stitches. Easy. Now let's have some fun and create a pattern from this star. So I'm going to use the array tool to duplicate the star. So now we have four. And I'm going to change the color of this one. I'll make this one red. And this one can be blue. The fourth star, I'm going to delete this so that when I reflect the pattern again, everything fits in neatly. So back on the wreath tool. And rotate to fit, hit enter to generate. And we can keep repeating this process again and again using the wreath tool to create some really complex patterns. 